Good morning. I'm Dick Barron from the Muddy Brook Fire Department. Uh, here with George Brown uh, to talk about uh, ice strainers and rural water supply. Uh, just a little background. Uh, started the fire department back in 1973. Worked up the ranks, including uh, fire chief, and have over over 40 years of active service. And uh, I've been in the fire department since 1970, and uh, also past chief. Muddy Brook Fire Department has been noted for moving water uh, as a rural fire department uh, for tanker shuttles uh, and drafting. And large diameter hose. And Kotrek has been one of the main uh, suppliers for all our equipment. Uh, some experimenting with some of Greg's stuff that we've had he's developed over the years. I think we were one of the first departments to use his ice strainer. Yeah, and that and the uh, cam locks for the flexible suction hose. Uh, we've We've done a lot with, uh, with this company going, going way back. Today we're going to talk about uh, volume water supply using uh, ice strainers. And in the, in the picture you can see we have uh, dual ice strainers. We have a 6 and a 3 inch ice strainer that we're using on our 1500 gallon per minute pumper. And George can tell how, how we set it up and how long it takes. There's some components that you have to have. Right, ice auger is the main one obviously because you're drilling one hole and it's much easier with a power ice auger than a hand ice auger and you only need to drill a hole depending on the size of the, the strainer. We have a six inch one so we drill one hole. If you were using a box strainer you have to uh, make a hole that's probably like three by three and it's very time consuming. Yeah we used, uh, we set the six inch up first and got draft with that and while Rich was pumping water with that I set up the three inch and Probably a total time of 10 minutes probably was the time it took to get both strainers in operation. Yeah, and that was a key because uh, we can get draft first uh, with a 6 inch and instead of wasting time we can start flowing water. You put your 3 inch on, that's a gated valve on your suction port, you can open that up as time goes on so uh, you can speed your, your water delivery up uh, much faster. And like, uh, like Rich said earlier, the it's just the convenience of it. It's you know two holes in the ice and you're done, and you got water flowing. Where if you're using a float strainer, you have to you know chop like a three or three by four hole, and that's very time consuming. So ice strainers are definitely a quick way to get water in the winter time. And it, it worked out well for a department that's thrived on rural water supply, tanker shuttles, LDH, and including drafting, which is a key point for a shuttle when you can use. Uh, the flexible suction, which we've used that for for decades, including cam lock fittings. Everything we have is cam lock, so that speeds things up, especially when there's not that many people uh, during the day or an evening. Uh, two people, George and I, actually did that drill, just us. Good drill to practice if you really want to see what your ice trainers can do.